Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video and today for you guys, we're gonna be reacting to the odd ones out. He just came out with a video called The Internet Changed Me. I have no idea what this is about, but before the video starts, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys always show. It really means a lot to me. And yeah, let's get right into the video. May I have your attention, please? I'm paying attention. Your attention. I, I am here. Please, may I, am. May wow. I have some? Please. <laughs> what if I put up gameplay of Subway Surfer and used a robot voice? Would, would that keep you stimulated? Yes. Wikipedia <laughs> says that people born between the year 1981 and 1996 are part of a group called Millennials. Yes. And I am a 96 baby. Hello, year of the rat. What's up? I'm oh. cusping on that millennial Gen Z line, so I can relate to all you Gen Zers, okay? <laughs> I know yeah. what cap means, I know what drip means, and I also <laughs> don't remember where I was when 9-11 happened. However, uh. Gen Z, there is a difference between us. We're both a generation that grew up on the internet, but yeah. you grew up with the internet. We grew up with the internet. The internet didn't used to always look like okay. this. It has metamorphosized a multitude of times. Now, it's if true. you talk to an older millennial, they'll tell you the horror stories of the late 90s internet. How the internet used to be paired with your home's landline. And if you don't know what a landline is, good. If you wanted to <laughs> surf the, the net is, at blazing like. speeds of 7 kilobytes a second, then you couldn't use your telephone at the same time. Oh, this crazy. was before texting even By existed. By the way, I'm part of Gen Z, so if that you wasn't needed clear. to talk to someone, <laughs> you had to call them and oh. look up their phone number in that 20-pound weapon known as a phone book, and then if someone else was using the internet, they'd get the pleasure of listening to... Lovely. Although, Sensational if sounds. I had to make a sound that represented the entire internet, it would sound exactly like this. Makes I didn't sense. grow up with dial-up, but I did grow up in a time where the internet looked completely different. By okay. the time I was exploring the interwebs, we got speeds up to one megabyte per second. Oh, lovely. So Look at the high speeds. The quality <laughs> video you could stream on YouTube was in 240p, or lovely. this big. And it would still buffer. A lot. <laughs> Gen Z, you weren't there when you oh had goodness. a five-star scoring system and the subscribe button was yellow. Okay, the thing is, I do remember this. <laughs> like, I remember sitting on, like, my babysitter's computer, well, like, watching YouTube like this, like, like first early that's YouTube. that's what TVs look like. Oh you my goodness, I had that kind of TV too. The background for a website would be a never ending grid of a JPEG, and music would play against your will, and your cursor would turn into a sparkly wand, and. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty cool. Whatever happened to that? And then the person who built the website would go, hmm, it's looking pretty good, but you know what this web page really needs? A counter that'll tell you the total number of people who visited. Let me just copy this HTML code I found online. And if you're around my age and you also had unsupervised computer time, then great, you were also there to experience the pre-puberty years of the internet. Uh, Try to imagine yes. the internet, internet without explore. social media. <laughs> no Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or MySpace. Were people back then just not talking about themselves or sharing their opinions online? Were we as a society more connected with the people we knew in the real world? No. no, of course not. <laughs> no. People have been sharing their opinions online since day one. They were just doing it on random message boards. I know it sounds trivial nowadays, but there was once a novelty in being able to type anything you wanted into the computer and then someone else you didn't know would instantaneously nice. respond. Even Neopets, a game targeted to children, had chat rooms and let anyone send unfiltered messages to children. Uh, I'm surprised yeah, I didn't meet any weirdos. That's one thing that'll never change with the internet. There will always be weirdos online. In fact, I mean, yeah. most of a weirdo's life is spent behind a computer. I would Dang. know. I think people uh. loved sending messages so much that sometimes your friend would send you a message that said, You've just been hit by the duck truck. Send this message to 80 of your friends and you'll be as sexy as a truck. Oh and my. Be hit by a 16 wheeler. Hey, my goodness. And instead of blocking that person, some people would keep the chain going. Hey, I have a quick question. I do remember when that, When was though. the last time you ever had to type a specific website into your address bar? Probably hmm, since, like, somewhere since about 2008. 10 years, give or take. You just type in a Y, and then YouTube pops up. You put yeah. in a T, you get Twitter, and P gets you pictures of alligators.com. Oh, my and goodness. If you had a specific question you wanted to ask the internet, you just... 
Yahoo it, right? Yahoo? Oh, no, that's not the one you kids are using. You kids are using that new search engine, right? Ask Jeeves? I know there's like four main websites that everyone goes on, <laughs> but back then, instead of having a social media account, people made their own websites. So there were a nice. bunch of different websites for you to explore. And to help you find those websites, you had a few search engines to pick from. Everyone loves to dunk on Bing for even attempting to be a search engine, but back in the day, Google had some competition. Obviously, I can see why Google ultimately won the search engine battle. <laughs> Google is a great company, and I would recommend Google to all my peers and coworkers. I love <laughs> Google. As much as I love the internet, some of the best memories we had on the computer weren't even on the internet, were they? Sometimes the internet. That's true. Sometimes I just love playing like but solitaire or like. Did Minesweeper. Because my computer is too slow. <laughs> no. We were still able to supply ourselves with hours of entertainment Windows even 95. without an internet. I think I had All Windows 95 until was I was like start, relatively like 13 maybe. All programs, maybe. accessories, games, and then... There they are. Yeah, they paid ball. And then with the Windows background. No, this this is this is bringing it back to me too, even though I'm like born in 2001. I guarantee <laughs> every millennial watching this right now just got hit with a big wave of nostalgia. This game might seem simple because there's only two buttons that you can press, but when you read really no, 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 this it, is a great this game. game had a whole lot more going on. Trust me, Space Cadet Pinball was all we had sometimes, and I cherished <laughs> every second of it. But if you were, I guess it depends like where in Gen Z were born. Like this probably applies more to people who were born like and luckily, near 2010, 2008. But like, you know, I'm still on the cusp of like knowing all of this stuff. That every artist needs. Yeah, this program's yeah. got everything. There's a line tool and a bucket tool and a. Nah, this is how you got like sometimes old YouTube really videos bored, back in the day. Would people would just speed paint on MS Paint. the freeform selection tool on it, and then blammo! Yeah, I still got it. I just made a <laughs> masterpiece. And fun James bonus tip. For some extra self-induced epilepsy, hold down Control I, which will invert the colors, so your masterpiece my will go. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hey, looks like you're trying to create a conclusion oh, to this YouTube video. <laughs> Would you like my help? No, Clippy. Even when you were around, I never used you. I just liked having you there to keep me company. The I wish Clippy was still around. Still <laughs> be real. New invention that is ever changing the way we live. And we have yet to see the full effects of what being connected since birth does to a person. The fact that the accumulation of all human knowledge can now fit in your pocket? That's going mm -hmm. to affect your day-to-day -day life. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to get off the internet, touch grass, and live your life to the fullest. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be a hypocrite and unemployed. There's no <laughs> denying all the positive things that the internet has to offer. But I'm also not going to deny all the negative things that come with instant gratification, too. Identity As technology jams. advances, yep, there it is. so too do we advance the amount of time we spend online. The internet can connect us to a million different people and perspectives that we never would have been exposed to before. But it can also expose us to some really nasty people and perspectives. Yeah. And the only thing we can do about those people is shrug and say, Sorry, that's the internet. So, yeah. are we, as a society, better off with the internet? That man is still moving. I think so. But just, I don't know, just remember to drink <laughs> water and stretch. All right, that's the lesson of this video. Go stretch. I'm serious. Right it's now, time go to stretch, touch your boys. Toes. Here we go. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's the end of the video. Again, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.